Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Messiah. Shalom, shalom to all my relatives and friends. It's, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, what, the last one I did, I was in the midst of moving and then I was dealing with some other issues. But while I was um, in all of this, while praying and talking, seeking Elohim, and wondering what subject I should make another um, message on, even be one day, <laughs> even before I finish asking that question, um, Rock Hakodesh and uh, yeah, Abba Father just said, uh, um, just make it about New Jerusalem or Yerushalayim. So that's what this um, message is all about. And the message might be a few parts because new, new and renewed um, Jerusalem is a big topic. So this is just an introdu introductory part one. And then I will um, do some other parts about New Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city of Elohim. So um, yeah, this is what this um, teaching is about. So before I start the, uh, the, the, the message or the little teaching, I want to just pray to Abba Father. Oh, Abba Father, in Yahushua HaMashiach name, I just come before your throne of grace, thanking you, oh Yahweh Elohim, for all your supernatural um, powers and forces, oh Yahweh, thanking you for your mighty blessing of preserving and protecting and healing Israel, healing your bride, healing all the children, the brothers and sisters in all of the churches, and healing all of my relatives and my friends. So all honor and praises be unto you, O oh, our Father in heaven, in Yeshua HaMashiach name. Let me only speak words that glorify you in truth and in righteousness. In Yeshua's name, I pray and ask you all of this and thank you for for everything physically mentally spiritually and psychologically thank you for your order and your balance and thank you for your mighty rock that sticks closer than a brother and a father and mother sister and all our relatives there is no one like you oh Yahweh. so I just give you all the honor and praise that is due to your glorious and majestic self a name because you are the king of all kings and lord of all lords and you deserve all praise and worship and love so be with me as i talk about new Jerusalem in yeshua's name alleluia so yes um so i was thinking of a message for this video and the um the one i thought of was New Jerusalem, city of truth, and Yahweh or Yahweh chooses Jerusalem or Jerusalem. So, um, while while researching about Jerusalem, I I got I I thought I would start with Zechariah. So New Jerusalem will express Yahuwah or Yahweh's fully. For eternity, New Jerusalem express our Father and our King in the fullness of Yod -He -Vav -He expression for all eternity. Um, express Yahuwah's kavod glory. Um, New Jerusalem has um, Yahuwah's glory, which is the embodiment of Elohim. It's the exact, New Jerusalem is the exact image of our Father, of our Creator, and of the King of Kings that created the heavens and the earth. New Jerusalem in you and in me is the re rejuvenation and the transformation and the regeneration into the incorruptible immortality of the ancient of days, Yahuwah Sabahot in Yeshua. In Revelation 21, John describes the city as a massive crystal clear diamond full of the glory of Yahweh Elohim and our Yahweh shining 
from your center all over the new heavens with the and with eternity bathed in the radiance of its splendor. Only people who are written in Yahushua HaMashiach Book of Life can enter New Yerushalayim. Those that those, um, um, those that are bought by the precious atoning sacrificial love blood of Yeshua, who is the second Adam that completely defeated the adversary that um, deceived um, at the first Adam and Shava called Eve in the Bible. So, oh, yeah, New Jerusalem doors will always be open. So, um, in this message, I am talking about Jerusalem or Jerusalem as the people, not the big city, because that will take other parts of study and, um, and, and other parts of teaching. But I'm talking about the Ecclesia, the, the called out ones, the bride that will, um, that is Jerusalem that John saw. Um, Jerusalem or Jerusalem is called Yahuwah, our righteousness. A city not forsaken. Jerusalem is called Ariel, city of David. Jerusalem is the city of Elohim, the city of Judah, city of righteousness, city of truth, the solemnities of the great King Yahuwah. You knew Jerusalem or Jerusalem is the faithful city, the Kodesh city and a Kodesh mountain. Yerushal it's Yerushalayim, new, renewed, rejuvenated. Jerusalem is called Yahuwah Shama, meaning Yahuwah is here, Yahuwah is there. Um, it's new Jerusalem is called the perfection of beauty and the joy of the whole earth. It's called the throne of Yahuwah. It's called Zion or Zion, the sword our Zion, the Kodesh one of Israel. Yahushua and Hava Father is the temple and the sanctuary that is within New Yerushalayim. The glory, the Kovod glory, the Shekinah glory of Yah will and is the lamp of New Yerushalayim. Both the kingship and the covenant of Yahweh is centered in Jerusalem forever and ever. So that's how I want to approach this subject today. I want to talk about New Jerusalem or Jerusalem as the people, the bride, the person. Um, so I'll start by reading Zechariah 1 for, from verse 8 until the end. <clears throat> In Zechariah 1, it says, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding on a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him were red horses, speckled and white. Then I said, O oh, Elohim, what are these? And the, and the messenger that talked with me said unto me, I will show you what these be. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom Yahuwah has sent to walk to and fro throughout the earth. And they answered the angel of Elohim that stood among the myrtle trees, and said, We have walked to and fro throughout the earth, and behold, all the earth sits still and is at rest. Then the angel of Yahweh said, um, Then the angel of Elohim answered and said, 
O Elohim of hosts, O Yahuwah Sobachot, how long will you not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which you have had indignation these three score and ten years? Then Yahweh answered the messenger that talked with me with good words and comforting words of a father. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, and say, saying, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. And I am sore displeased with the, he the heathen that are at ease, for I was a little displeased, and they helped by forwarding the affliction. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, says Yahuwah of hosts, and a line shall be stressed, stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Cry yet, saying, thus says Yahweh of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. And, uh, and Yahuwah shall yet comfort Zion and shall choose Yerushalayim. So that's where I got the title. Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, city of truth. Yahuwah Sobohod, the mighty king of kings, the one that created the heavens and the earth, has chosen Yerushalayim. Um, that, so it's verse 18, Zechariah 1 verse 18. Then I lift up my eyes and saw and behold four horns. And I said to the messenger that talked with me, what are these? And he answered and said, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And, and Yahweh showed me four carpenters. And I said, what what are these going to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horn which have scattered Judah, so that no person did lift up his head, but, but these, the carpenter, has come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lift up their horn. And the horn in the Bible represent the powers of empire, like Persian Empire, Media Persian Empire, Greco-Roman Empire, Babylonian Empire. So those are the horn, the powers of the world. So these horns have lift up, uh, lift up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. So this is what I'm talking about in this message. It's about new, renewed, rejuvenated Yerushalayim, the faithful city, the city of truth, the city of the great and awesome King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I am going to be reading Zephaniah 2 from 1 until 13 um, to continue um, um, shedding some lights about what new Yerushalayim is the people the bride the person um that's what i'm talking about today even though john saw this great and awesome city that was like a big crystal a big diamond radiating all the colors of the rainbow but i'm talking about the people so zechariah 2 from 1 to 13 I lift up my eyes again and look and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said, where do you go? And he said unto me to measure Jerusalem to see what the breadth thereof and what the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth and another angel went out to meet him. And he said, run and speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem, Yer Jerusalem or Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of person and cattle within Jerusalem. 
For thus says Yahuwah Savahod, I will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. O ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, says Yahuwah, or Yahweh, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, says Elohim. Deliver yourself, O daughter of Zion that dwell with the daughter of Babylon. For thus says your creator who, cho who chooses Jerusalem. Um, thus says Yahweh hosts, after the glory has he sent me unto the nation which spoil you. For he that touches you touches the apple of Elohim's eye. Yerushalayim is the apple of Yahweh Sobohot eye. For behold, I will shake my hand unto them, and they shall be a spoil for their servants. And you shall know that Yahweh Hosts has sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. For lo, I come and I will dwell in the midst of you, says Yahuwah Sobohot, Yahweh Elohim. And many nations shall be joined unto Yahweh in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of you, and you shall know that Yahweh Sobohot has sent me unto you. And Yahweh shall inherit Judah his portion in the Kodesh land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. And be silent, all flesh, before yod heh vah or Yahweh Elohim, for he is raised out of his Kodesh habitation. habitation. So now I will read um, now I will really read still in Zechariah, but I will go to Zechariah chapter 8 from 1 until 23, still speaking about Yerushalayim, renewed Yerushalayim, the transformation of Yerushalayim, and the restoration of Yahweh Elohim, faithful and Kodesh city, restored and washed and made brand new by the blood of Yeshua, without spot and blemishes, because it's washed in the blood of the Lamb that defeated all the adversary, and it reflects um, Yahushua HaMashiach light and Yahushua sanctification, justification, purification, holiness, and Yahushua Shikina Kavot glory. So I'm going to read Zechariah 8 from 1 to 23. Again, the word of Elohim came unto me, saying, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus says Yahuwah, I am returned unto Zion, and I will dwell in the midst of Yerushalayim, and Yerushalayim shall be called the city of truth and the mountain of, of Yahuwah Sabahot. Yahuwah Sabahot mean Yahuwah, the mighty Elohim of power and of forces, of the army of, of the host of heaven army, the commander of the host of heaven's army. Yahuwah Sabahot is like the Man of war, Yahushua Hamashiach. Um, so Yahuwah Sobohot, Yerushalayim shall be called the city of truth and the mountain of Yahuwah Sobohot. It's a Kodesh mountain. Thus says Yahuwah Sobohot, Yahweh Elohim, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the street of Yerushalayim and every man with his staff in his hand for old age. And the street of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the street. Thus says Yahuwah Sabahot, if this be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of these people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my, should it not also be marvelous in my eyes, asks Yahweh Elohim. And thus says Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Yerushalayim, and they shall be my people. I will be their Elohim in truth and in righteousness. Thus says Yahweh Sabahot, Let your hands be strong, you that hear these words. 
you that hear let your hand be strong you that hear these these days these words in the mouth of the prophets which were in the days that the foundation of the house of Yahweh was laid that the temple might be built for before these days there was no person for ire, nor any ire for beast. Neither was there any peace for him or her that comes in and that went out because of the affliction. Because Elohim said, he set every person against his neighbor. But Elohim says, no, today I will not be unto the residue, the remnant of my people, as in the form former days says Yahweh Sobhod for the seed shall be prosperous the vine shall give her fruit and the ground shall give her increase hallelujah hallelujah praise Yahweh that gives the increase and the heaven shall give their due and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things and it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathen O house of Judah Yehuda and O house of Israel so I will save you and you shall be a blessing fear not but let your hands be strong says Yahweh Elohim for thus says Yahuwah post as I have taught to punish you when your ancestors provoke me to wrath with your idolatry to worship Baal, to worship all those other fake God they provoke our father to wrath so he abandon us and give us over to the hands of our enemies but our father, father said as they provoked me to wrath says Yahweh post and I repented not so again have I taught in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah so do not fear these are the things that you shall do, O house of Judah. Speak you every person the truth to his neighbor and execute judgment in truth and shalom in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your heart against your neighbor and love nothing that is false. Don't swear falsely for all these things Yahuwah Sobohot does hate. The word of Yahweh post came unto me saying, Thus says Elohim, the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh and the fast of the tenth month shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness and cheerful peace. Therefore, love, truth, and shalom. Thus says Yahuwah post, it shall come to pass that there shall come people and inhabitants of many cities and the inhabitants of one city shall go unto another saying let us go speedily to pray unto Yahuwah Elohim or Yahweh of hosts and I will go also yes many people and strong nations shall come and seek the sovereign mastermind creator the king of kings and lord of Ho lord Yahweh Sobohot in Jerusalem and to pray before Elohim hallelujah hallelujah thus says Yahweh of hosts in those days it shall come to pass that ten person shall take all old out of all the languages of the nations. They shall take all of the skirt of him that is um, from the tribe of Judah. Judah is um, is is shortened for Jews. Jew. Um, not everyone that is in Israel is Judah. There are 12 tribes in Israel. There is a tribe of Judah, Reuben, Simeon, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Issachar, Zebulun, um, Ephraim, and Benjamin, and Levi. So only the tribe of Judah, where Yahushua is from the tribe of Judah. So they shall take all of the skirt of him that is from Judah, saying, We will go with you. 
for we have heard that Yahweh is with you. And skirt in Hebrew mean it's the tassels, the seat seas, the tassels that hangs from the the covering that they pray, the, the prior cover that you pray with and the tassels are called the skirt or the, the CCs that you wear on the side, women wear it, men wear it to show that you're obeying Yahweh's um, commandment. So this is this teaching about New Yerushalayim and I will do another pretty soon uh, because it's an extensive subject. So shalom, shalom, shalom and Yahweh blessing to everyone.